Good news for anybody in the Garmin ecosystem who use third-party training applications such as Zwift, Trainer Road, System, Ruby, etc. The training effect values of those activities are now calculated over on Garmin Connect. Now previously, to get the training effect values, you had to sync your third party over to Garmin Connect, over then to a uh, compatible Garmin device, and then that synced back to Garmin Connect to get those values. Quickly pulling up the Garmin definition of training effect for a bit of background here. Training effect measures the impact of an activity on your aerobic and anaerobic fitness and accumulates during the activity. As the activity progresses, the training effect value increases. Training effect is determined by your user profile information, your training history, heart rate duration, and intensity of your activity. Now, a few years ago, the only way to get those values was to record with a Garmin device. They then stated on the website here, which is now a little outdated, activities uploaded by third-party apps will not generate a training effect. Now around 18 months ago or so, there was a change there where, as I've just mentioned before in the intro, you could upload from a third party, it would then sync to a Garmin hardware device and then sync back. That step has been removed and the values are generated over on Garmin Connect, so removing that step. Now user Fast and Garnet over on Reddit has posted this, which got my attention. This post, by the way, has 98% upvotes. That's a really, really high ratio of upvotes, so a super popular update here. And you can see there, their ride on Zwift has a primary benefit listed, aerobic, anaerobic, which was zero. Go a little bit harder, mate. Uh, and the exercise load was only 25. They're probably just testing this. The responses here are super positive. Sir Barles Charkley, <laughs> I love the usernames. I've been wanting this forever. No more separately recorded indoor cycling activities that I have to manually edit to match the Zwift activity. Your next employee, there's quite a few of those around at the moment. Uh, this is huge, so excited. And gravity is for wimps. Wow, this must be like new, new even this week. Yes, confirmed. Now I did reach out to Garmin just to confirm that this was taking place. And their response is as follows. Yes, we are now including the training effect data in the activities coming from third-party platforms, e.g. Zwift and Trainer Road. This value is calculated on Garmin Connect when we receive this activity and is dependent on a couple of things, as was the case with the hop, step and jump, triple jump syncing that no longer needs to take place. The activity file needs to contain the right information from the third party. It needs heart rate and power data. And most importantly here, the user has an active training status capable device to unlock these first beat features in the first place. So you need to have a relatively new Garmin wearable or Garmin Edge that does all those special first beat calculations and gets your user profile in the first place. So when you upload from a third party platform such as Zwift, Trainer Road, et cetera, as I've listed, those values can be instantly created and added to your training load. So that's it in a nutshell, quite a simple little update that I'm sure a lot of people will love. And based on the feedback over on Reddit and in the Garmin forums, this is quite a welcome update from Garmin and how they calculate that value. For me personally, I don't use these values because my Garmin Connect is quite a hot mess of duplicate and triplicate uh, activity recordings from out in the road and indoors. Okay, keeping this one short, we'll leave it there for today as I try and not get myself banned from the Taipei Bike Show next year. Now, according to this guy who slid into my DMs, I may have trouble getting in next year. Low caliber. Hey Sheepy, I think he was talking about you. Caliber? Ruger? What's their obsession with guns, Llama? I don't know, mate. I just don't know. All right, thanks for watching.